This is Chris, and I'll take a moment and explain the gold decomposed granite oyster shell bocce quart blends. Now, this would really be true of the silver or any other color you asked us to blend. The most common is the gold and the silver. Right here, we have oyster shell flour. And this is the material that goes on the surface of many bocce ball quarts. This is the oyster shell. Now I've watered down the oyster shell flour. Obviously not been rolled out. I'm just trying to make a quick simple sample display to convey these things. The oyster shell flour compacts down fairly strongly after it's been watered. It makes a good solid crust on here. And if you use about a quarter to three eighths of an inch, it will um, leave a nice cover on the top. So again, oyster shell flour, oyster shell, and then we have two mixes here. The left, you can see a lot less oyster shell in than the right. This is more the dry climate. This is the wet climate. There's more oyster shell in this to facilitate better drainage in spring and summer rainfall events. The dry climate's not needed so much. The oyster shell itself provides a very good playing surface and provides the opportunity to more easily maintain the quart. You know, after you've been using it for a little bit, you need to refresh the surface. This is done by raking up the surface. If you have a pure clay or pure decomposed granite surface, you're going to have some strenuous labor bringing that stuff up softening it, re-raking it, leveling it out again. So this right here allows a much easier maintenance of the court. Also looks super trick. And it's got to admit, it looks pretty darn fancy. So that's a great talking point. But more than that, it just provides a really good playing surface. You can pack this down with the lawn roller. It's going to be fairly hard fairly fast. I've heard some people say, well, oyster shell surface plays a really small, I mean, really slow ball. Uh, well, the problem there is that you went from being an oyster shell blend to some places I've just seen like complete mixtures of just oyster shell and oyster flour. Okay, that's somewhat like running through uh, dry beach sand. Yeah, that's going to be pretty slow. It's to accent the mix or to improve the mix and the spread not to be the exclusive component or primary component of the spread and then right here what I've done is I've put down the oyster shell flour over the decomposed granite oyster shell blends you can see it's pretty darn solid just with hand watering and no lawn roller compaction so that's the basics of the gold decomposed granite or even silver decomposed granite uh, spreads.